Kentucky Derby winner Medina Spirit, who failed a drug test after this year's race, died of a heart attack on Monday following a workout at a California racetrack. Under jockey John Velasquez, Medina Spirit finished first by a half length of the Kentucky Derby in May to give trainer Bob Baffert a record seventh win in the $3 million run for the Roses. In a statement, Baffert said Medina Spirit collapsed and died of a heart attack Monday after a workout at Santa Anita, adding, quote, My entire barn is devastated by this news. Medina Spirit was a great champion, a member of our family who was loved by all, and we are deeply mourning his loss. The Colts' owner, Amir Zedin of Saudi Arabia, was not immediately reachable through his lawyer. After the Kentucky Derby, Medina Spirit tested positive for a legal medication, but one that is banned on race day, and Baffert was suspended from racing at Churchill Downs for two years. Reports say the Colt will undergo a full necropsy to confirm the cause of death. So we've already made clear that we won't be represented there at a ministerial level. We made that clear to China, I think, in October. Uh, and so for us, that's a, a decision we've already made. Uh, range of factors, but mostly to do with COVID and the fact that the logistics of travel and so on around COVID are not, uh, not conducive to that kind of trip. But we've made clear to China on numerous occasions our concerns about human rights issues as recently as the Prime Minister uh, talking to President Xi. So uh, they're well aware of our view on human rights, but we had already made the decision not to attend. The White House on Monday said the U.S. will not send government officials to the upcoming Beijing Olympics due to China's human rights atrocities after Beijing pledged unspecified countermeasures against any diplomatic boycott. The Biden administration will not send any diplomatic or official representation to the Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics and Paralympic Games given the PRC's ongoing genocide and crimes against uh, humanity in Xinjiang and other human rights abuses. Press Secretary Jen Psaki said the diplomatic boycott sends a clear message but would not prevent American athletes from attending, which she said would penalize athletes who have prepared for years. The athletes on Team USA have our full support. We will be behind them 100 percent as we cheer them on from home. President Joe Biden said last month he was considering a boycott amid criticism of China's human rights record, including what Washington says is genocide against minority Muslims in its western region of Xinjiang. Earlier on Monday, China's foreign ministry called any boycotts by politicians grandstanding. No one cares whether they come or not, and it has no influence on Beijing's success in hosting the Winter Olympics. China's embassy in Washington did not respond immediately to a request for comment. The Biden administration will not send any diplomatic or official representation to the Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics and Paralympic Games, given the PRC's ongoing genocide and crimes against uh, humanity in Xinjiang and other human rights abuses. The athletes on Team USA have our full support. We will be behind them 100 percent as we cheer them on from home. We will not be contributing to the fanfare of the games. U.S. diplomatic or official representation would treat these games as business as usual in the face of the PRC's egregious human rights abuses and atrocities in Xinjiang. And we simply can't do that. As the president has told President Xi, standing up for human rights is in the DNA of Americans. Uh, we have a fundamental commitment to promoting human rights, and we feel strongly in our position, and we will continue to take actions to advance human rights in China and beyond. I don't think that uh, we felt it was, uh, it was the right step to uh, penalize athletes uh, who have been training, preparing for this moment, and we felt that we could send a clear message uh, by, uh, by not sending a, an official U.S. delegation. Yeah.